Hey everybody! Let's wait, let's wait we'll a bit. Wait. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Waiting to everyone to come in. Hi there! Hello. Hello! Welcome! Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are coming in from the patron Instagram or Alyssa's, we are the warning! Hey! Hi, nice to meet you all. We are the warning. This yes. is. I'm Danny. I'm Pal. I'm Ale. We yes. are a. We're Th three sisters and yes. we're a rock band from Monterrey, Mexico. Yes, a three it's... piece. Pau's a drummer, I was the bass player, and I'm the guitar player. And lead Ooh. singer. And lead singer, thank you. So we're really excited to be here. Yes. Um, this is our patron takeover. And uh, we're very excited to be talking with Alyssa. Today. Yes, yes. it's going to be awesome. Yes, she is the amazing lead vocal of Arch Enemy. And we're super, super excited to have her here. And we hear that she's also working on her first solo album. Yeah. And she's in the studio uh, these last... Uh, she's been in the studio Recently, right yes. <laughs> so we're very excited that she's to coming to on yes. to talk with us. And we've recently come out of the studio ourselves. Yeah, on our so, album, so... This so is bound to be exciting. really fun. Yeah. Yes, it is. Um, um, I think we should check if she's on right now um so we can go ahead and invite her oh, yeah. and have some fun let's get it hey hey girls how are you we're great, great. how are you it's good. i'm doing well thanks for having me in your takeover no, oh, thank no, you for thank coming you on. Thank you for coming. This is amazing. We're so glad to meet you. Yeah, likewise. You guys rock. So I'm happy to see you guys. And I love your music. So oh, happy thank to you talk so to much. you. Thank you so much. Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> you are amazing. Yes. <laughs> so okay. how has the takeover been? It looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah, yes, I we mean, are. We are. We're getting started, we're getting started, but we're going to have a great day. Yeah, no, we're very excited about yes. the whole thing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the most exciting right now. So. Yeah, it's yeah. the most exciting. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, and we're super excited to talk about you, about, you know, life in general, music. I mean, we know what it's like to, you know, dedicate ourselves to the music industry. Also, like being a woman in this uh, sure. industry and in the rock and metal genres, which is a whole different scenario, like area. Like, yeah. unfortunately. But yeah, how have you uh, dealt with that? We know it has its challenges. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, it does. But, yeah. um, you know, women are really strong. So I think that there's a reason that we're able to do this, you know, despite the challenges. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, and it's also like we have come to learn that a lot of the people, like a lot of the fans in these genres are also very accepting and like very yes. open. We're a big like family. it's a very rebellious kind of genre. So I think people are pretty open to a lot of things. But I think that we really just want to ask you like how did you start with music in general? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I was reading a little bit about you guys, um, so I know how you started a little bit, but I would love for you to also, you know, like, explain a little bit, because you guys are actually sisters, which is so cool, because I also have a sister who is a musician with her own band, and she's That's also awesome. a Patreon creator, too, actually. Hey. Um, her, <laughs> her band is called No Joy, and uh, we used to, like, play together for fun, and so we both grew up in this kind of musical household, and then, you know, when I was a teenager, I realized that I just was more into metal than the kind of music that was playing on the radio. And uh, not even only metal, like punk, even like classical. Like I just wasn't into mainstream pop, mm -hmm. um, even though a lot of my friends were. And so I started just going to a lot of local shows, lots of like small bands playing in really local, like small venues. And I just loved it. You know, I just loved seeing the shows. I thought it was so cool to see like these people right in front of me making this music. And so I thought maybe I could get some sort of experience as like a manager or like some sort of behind the scenes position. But then I ended up like forming a band and being the singer in it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then I just kept going from there. I just never stopped. Mm -hmm. That's, That's awesome. so amazing. That's really cool. And that like your love for music just drove you to that point. And now you're this amazing singer in this great band. That's awesome. That's really cool. Thank you. And there's kind of some similarities in yeah, your story in stories. some sort of way. So we started when we were like little babies. Yeah. So we started with classical music on the piano. And then we bought this video game, The Rock Band. And we just kind of like fell in love with yep, rock through that video all. game. <laughs> And we played separately. And at one point, we started playing covers together. And we just uploaded them on the internet. And one of them, it was our Enter Sandman cover. Just kind of like, yes. blew up, it went kind of viral. And uh, then we started writing our original music. And there was and no going back. Yeah, We're like just we just like, yeah. kept going through that. And oh, yeah. <laughs> for sisters, like the dynamic is really cool. And um, we started writing our own music. And we started playing wherever we could. And it was all really cool. And at one point, we were like, we had a lot of international fans. And of course, it's kind of hard to be traveling a lot all the time. So we were like, how can we connect with our fans like on a more personal level through social media, but like even more personal. Yeah. So that's where we found Patreon. Patreon. And it was just like this really cool revelation that we had. And uh, it like our community on Patreon is so, I mean, you probably have like such an amazing community as well. Like it's just such a cool platform to get yeah. like fans in one place and just like be talking, having these activities in like a weekly, monthly kind of period. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's so cool. So how have you found like Patreon? Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with with what you just said. Like, I mean, I've been on, you know, various social media platforms like Instagram or whatever for about half of my career. So like 10 years or so. Um, <laughs> and so I've I've seen it go from like, social media not existing to my space, which was like, oh, maybe this is a useful tool for like promoting <laughs> a band, you know, and then yeah. I saw that go to Facebook and then I saw that go to Instagram. And now of course there's TikTok and all of them have, you know, like their pros and cons. And there was, you know, there was always like something interesting about it in the way that you could actually reach that international fan base, like you were saying, but I didn't necessarily feel that I was able to like connect directly with my closest fans and my biggest fans. And so that's why I wanted to do Patreon because I, I tour all the time, like all over the place. And I do meet these people in person, but it's usually like while I'm singing a song and I'm just taking their hand or something or like very quickly after the show, but I was never able to just like get in a conversation with them and like find out like what made them like Arch Enemy, for example. And so by making the Patreon page, I was able to like create this watering hole, this this fan club where everyone could come together and the community there is, is it's amazing. It's, you know, it, it, not only is it a cool place for just like like-minded people to get together and share experiences and talk about things and be creative, but it also really motivates me because, and I'm sure you guys probably feel this too. Like, <laughs> you know that there are people out there that appreciate what drives you to do more. So I feel like, like it's just like this amazing, like self-propelled, machine that will just lead to such amazing quality of music yeah exactly yeah. like everything you said is super on point and like something that we've also seen is like since i mean we're mexican right and we live in mexico and we travel a lot for like playing but we also have like a very big latin american audience so it's also really cool to have like all these people from all over the world just like Connect. like and they become really good friends mm -hmm. through these platforms and see the, like seeing them meet for the first time at one of our shows it's just it's such it's, a nice it's thing to yeah. see like they've never seen each other yes. in person such close yeah. friends it's it's cool that we can be like that bridge yes. between yeah. people that music does yeah. that for people it's such a nice feeling like it's it's a cool yeah and that's like what music is is about too right and yeah. i feel like especially in the, without touring existing I feel like Patreon has just that thing to keep us all like afloat in terms of just like, yes. like mental health in a way, because, you know, music connects people. You go to a concert, you're in there in the full emerald. It exists only in that location at that time and then gone. And you experience that with all these strangers and you all leave the venue having this like 
shared experience. And that's what's so amazing about concerts. I don't have that right now. I feel like it's an amazing substitute for that because it's like, I want to have these experiences together. And then, like you were saying, I think probably my favorite patron experience that I've had is exactly what you said. Seeing people face to face at those. I was able to see quite a bit of that in 2019 where I would go and have these meet and greets and there would be like sometimes 12, sometimes like 20 beastlings, which is the name of my, my fan club members. And they would just be like, so-and-so and you're so-and-so. And me too, I was like, oh, you're so-and-so. And like, and now I can put a face to the name and that's like, like really cool, really cool. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's awesome. yeah, no, it's, it's great. And they also like feel very special when you like say their names or you recognize them. I'm like, of course, like I remember it. Like it's all such a big and special community and we really like yeah it. and like you said especially like this past year where playing live has just like stopped it has been such a healthy way like to just continue working and it's also a huge support because i mean there's really nowhere else to go right now so having that platform and you can continue doing stuff and also stuff that we couldn't do before because like sometimes you didn't have the time to do certain things but now, I mean, there's nothing but time. So, I yes. mean, yeah. and all, we have, like, these called monthly live chats in which we talk, like, we do a live chat with, like, your patrons every month. And it's also really cool to just, like, Catch constantly up. be in touch mm -hmm. yeah. with bands and people. Like, it's such an incredible platform in which to do that. Yay. Yeah. I mean, have you guys noticed, um, let's do, like, a monthly virtual? Oh. And through the past year, like through 2020, I found it really interesting to be to people who were in China, in, in Brazil, in the UK, and mm -hmm. you know, all over the world, and just be able to ask them. And you know, we sort of all come together, and the world is normal because we're all here hanging out. Yeah, yeah no, no, exactly. It's we we had like the same thing yeah and we're so grateful for the platform because apart from that connection that we have with our fans the support is immense i mean we have been able to do a lot of things thanks to them them so it's just like yeah no and like incredible and you ways. like what you said you have this like drive to continue mm -hmm. doing what you're doing because you feel so much support and so much love from this community that you're like oh my god like if you're ever feeling a bit down, it's like, look, like all these people, like, inspire you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just feel really inspired to continue working. Yeah. So it's just a fantastic thing all around. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Uh, talking about inspiration, like <laughs> now going a little bit more uh, into music, how, like, what's your creative process? I know that we all have different things. Very for different creating <laughs> music. Um, yeah. But what's and, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so I mean, it varies depending on which project I'm working on, because obviously with Enemy, there's a complete band and we all are, you know, the pieces of the puzzle that fit together to make this music happen. And so in that situation, I'm the vocalist. So it's tricks and rhythms and vocal approaches and, and arranging the, the choruses and the verses. And that's my role in that band. And I love the music that we make together it's like so satisfying to make this music i just i love what we're doing and then that someday we'll be able to go and present this music to people all over the world is is just an incredible feeling and so for the creative process with our kind of goes like that like we're all all like you know we're working together making this happen and when it comes to my solo stuff it's you know it's been like a journey of discovering to make it happen actually and um, um, so basically I start with a guitar or a piano, an idea. And maybe that idea is an uh, image, like a painting that sets a mood. Maybe it's a poem. Maybe it's some type of word. And then I just kind of start. Mm -hmm. And the best thing about the, the album that I'm working on now is that every single one of songs, when I start it, it just happened. I don't have to like struggle with like, uh, I have to force something into place. Like, 
you know, it, the, all of the songs like falling into the place on their own. And that's like such a satisfying feeling as a musician. So yeah, for me is a lot of um, anxiety about if it will, once it actually happens, it's just a <laughs> feeling of like relief and pride that I was able to just did, you know, it did not exist before. And now it exists. And, and it's like, I did. So yeah. yeah. And, and, and what about for you guys? Like, how, how do you how do you work since you're uh, since you are and you're three people? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, well, pretty similar said, to what yeah, you said, honestly. It's so relatable. <laughs> yeah. But, um, like, I usually sit on the piano because, I mean, I'm the drummer and I don't play the guitar. I wish I could because it, it feels like a different vibe. But I sit on the piano and, like you said, sometimes it's an image, some lyrics. Like, I use Pinterest a lot. I just look at images that fall into a certain aesthetic and, like, I get an idea, and then usually when I have like a lyric or two, a melody, something, like we sit together and we start working on it. And it's it's like a really long process sometimes, but sometimes it's pretty quick. Like it really yeah, depends it's on the like, yeah. It's just like, wow. Yes. But coming? we're all super opinionated. So like we work on the guitars together, we work on the drums together, we work on the basses together. So everything is just like a mix of the three of us. Yeah. So it feels really satisfying when you hear that little piece of yourself in a certain part, but it's just like the perfect blend. Mix. Yeah, it's super cool. It's great. And, but yeah, and as sisters, the uh, we're really close. Uh, we're the best thankfully. of friends, so it's easier for us to That's express awesome. our yeah, <laughs> and yeah. just like full on say it directly if we like something and we, we don't. don't. So it's a it's a really cool work ethic but yeah. you said something that really uh, uh clicked with me about writing for the band and writing for yourself it's very it's a very different thing and process and it's scary how um i don't know how to describe it it just is like working yeah. for a specific thing <laughs> and it doesn't like make it any less you it's just like a different mindset kind of vibe. Like. yeah 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 and also like what you said about like when it just clicks oh, like yeah. there, there's a point like when we're playing and we have an idea and we're just kind of jamming with it and then you play a certain part and everyone <laughs> like, just looks at each other like hey that's not half bad like that's pretty cool that's always a little yeah. like a magical moment it in is. between us oh no you froze um El wife dijo ya no más. Ya no más. Okay, there we go. I think. I think. Oh, I think she's hearing the audio. Okay, to everybody who's watching us. Hi. All right. I lost you guys for a second, but I did hear what you said, and that is awesome. <laughs> okay. We lost you too, but I think I think we're. We're, We're fine, right? I think so. Perfect. Cool, perfect. cool, cool, cool. But yeah, so I guess that's our, our writing process. And that's so great that you're working on your own material. We just also recently just got out of the studio. Of the studio so we come from that. Yeah, uh, we know the headspace. The headspace we're in right now. <laughs> so yes, good luck. No, exactly. It's like you're on a different planet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, but we're very excited for when your material comes out. Like, yeah, we we're fans, it. so it's going to be great. And I'm excited to hear um, your new stuff, too. <laughs> oh, thank oh, you. Thanks. We're very excited about it's it. It's coming so. out soon. So. Coming out soon. <laughs> so we're, we're excited about that. Weeks, yeah, we right? Are. Is, it, is uh, it actually in a few weeks? I mean, we don't have a set date, but we can, like, we have this ongoing okay. joke with our and it's always like, when is it coming out? When is it coming like, out? Soon. 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 It's coming out soon. This yeah. year. <laughs> okay. Oh, but but yeah, we we spend a lot of time working on that, and also like studio time is so different from playing live. It's it crazy is. how different it is. But focusing on printing out 
every emotion so that it transmits perfectly. It's a big part of the job. So we did spend um, a few months in the studio getting everything like perfect. Yeah, I, absolutely. What you said, um, printing it is so true. And the, the way I always think about it, that when you're playing live, you have your emotions, visions of all the people in the audience, hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of people it might be. And you're all making this song come to life with all these colors from different people's emotions. But in studio, it's just you. And you have to replicate the emotion thoughts of thousands of people on your own. <laughs> own and that's why it's so like exhausting draining but when it's done now there's this thing that exists forever and like that's yeah yes no like no pressure Agreed. yes no pressure, <laughs> no, at all. no pressure at all but it's really satisfying <laughs> when you hear it back and it's like yes 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 it's that's everything it, that yeah, you imagine ah oh, such a nice feeling it is it is oh my god um Honestly, uh, th this has been great. It I, has been great talking you, with you. Yeah, we are so glad to meet you. And hopefully we can get to meet you one day in person. In person, yeah. Yes. Yes, that would be amazing. We should do a little talk together or something. <laughs> oh, that, that's awesome. Yeah, that so cool. And if you're ever down in Mexico, let us know. Like, yes. we'll, we'll play together. <laughs> but... Seriously, thank you so much for your time and yeah. on on our patron takeover. It like it's it's such a huge honor, and yes. we had a great time. It's a a pleasure talking with you. Likewise. All right. Thank you. Enjoy the over, and thanks to everyone who is watching. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. You. Don't forget to Bye. look up a patron. Yes. And um, we'll see you around, Alyssa. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Ciao. Ay, no sé cómo cortarlo. Um, Ahí I está. <laughs> so, that was, that was great. Oh she, my gosh, she's so nice. She's so nice. She's an amazing I artist. Please go check out her Patreon. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys her. for watching. Yeah. yeah. We had a great time. We, we see that there's a lot of people from everywhere. So, hi. Hola. A uh, todos los que hablen español que nos estén viendo. <laughs> Hola, Would and like uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, for anyone here who doesn't know us, we are The Warning. We're a three-sister rock band from Mexico. And we'll be taking over Patreon's Patreon. Instagram today. For so the please, rest of the day. Please keep checking it out. Tune in. Uh, we send everyone a very big hug and very good vibes. Stay safe. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Stay healthy. Stay safe, stay healthy. We send everyone a very big hug. Los vemos. Keep rocking. Some of The Warning. <laughs> and um what's her name the warning, the warning. oh we're the oh, warning. Well, yeah, the warning i'm danny danny pow and and Alex. Alex. great to meet you so, thank you so much guys thank you so much and we'll keep with the takeover right now we'll see you for the whole Later. Keep ciao